Hello, I'd like to demonstrate the termination of one of our new connectors. This is one of our no-braid trim connectors. It's also known as Advantage Plus, and it's denoted by a suffix of X after the part number. This particular connector is an NMAL for LMR400. It's, it's known as our EZ-400-NMH-X. And typically, before you crimp the ferrule, you have to trim the braid. This has been designed to work with our standard CST400 tool, and there's no need to trim the braid. As with uh, any termination, you know, the best way to start is to get a nice clean cut on the cable, square clean cut. And the CCT01 tool is a great way to accomplish that. And you want to get back you know, an inch or more from the end of the cable, put a little downward pressure on the tool, and just you spin the tool around the cable. And just spin it, so it'll just it'll get a nice clean square cut. At that point, you put a little bend in the cable. You know, it gives you something to grab a hold of. You take side one of the CST 400 tool, place it over the cable till it stops. Start pressing down the thumb switch, and you spin the tool around the cable. And you have to make a couple of revolutions around the cable. At that point, while still depressing the thumb switch, you remove the uh, the pellet of dielectric from the end of the cable. At that point, you flip it around to side two. You got this thumb wheel here. You got a choice, clamp or crimp. The crimp is the straight. You, you move it to uh, the crimp, it's a crimp straight. Tighten up that thumb screw. Place it back over the cable and just spin that like, a, like an old pencil sharpener. And you spin until it spins freely, you don't have to worry about going too far. It spins freely, it stops cutting plastic. You remove that and you're all set to go there. Now on this CST 400 tool, on this side two, there was also a uh, deeper tool built right into the cable. So you place that deeper tool over the center connector and just you know back and forth a little bit. You actually see a little you know a couple pieces of copper coming out of there. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a nice little chamfer there on the uh, center conductor. And just one thing to point out while we're working with this tool, this these series of tools, is you just want to make sure you know when you when you, when you get started there on side one. Just take a look in the back there and make sure that the, uh, the, the it's free of the material from the last time you used the tool. Sometimes it pops out very quickly, just ejects, and sometimes it may uh, get hung up. But as you see, this piece just popped out right there. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, with all of our connectors, they're supplied with uh, adhesive line 3 to 1 atom shrink boot. You place that over the cable. You take your ferrule place that over the cable. Now the braid, you don't want to comb out the braid, there's no need to comb out the braid, you just uh, you know, fold it back away from that outer conductor as needed. You take the connector, you get it started, it's a, going to be a nice snug fit, it's purposely designed to be a very snug fit, and you push that, you, know, you turn it and push it onto the cable until it stops. At that point, you bring that ferrule, you bring it all the way up, and as you can see, there's no braid protruding. It's been designed so the braid is just where you want it to be. You bring that ferrule up and, and you're basically at that point you're set to crimp. And we have our uh, uh, CT-300-400 crimp tool, 3190-666. Use the larger of the two uh, crimp dies. <clears throat> and you want to crimp it right up as close to the back of the connector as possible. Bring that ferrule all the way up and crimp it right close by to the connector. Like such. And then you would just bring that shrink boot all the way up to the back of the coupling knot and shrink it with a, with a heat source. And this design, just like many of our new series, our Advantage, our Advantage Plus connectors, all have a little back end with a couple of protruding ribs that help act as a landing area for the uh, adhesive line shrink boot to bite into. And that's it. Thank you very much.